Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Taylor King coming in real quick to talk about tonight's forecast here for Tight Squeeze, Virginia. Now let's jump to Friday real quick with the future cast because we have some rain chances actually going into Friday. So Friday 10 a.m. we're actually going to be seeing that rain showers start to move into the state. And again, over Friday, starting into Saturday is actually when we're going to keep seeing these scattered showers throughout the state. Round 1 will move out of the area by around 4 p.m., but Round 2 will be making its way from the northern portions of the state coming into the area again. Scattered showers, we have this little blip on radar right now, right uh, just south of Tight Squeeze and north of Greensboro. So again, some rain showers for your Friday evening activities are to be expected, so do plan around that. Now, going into the temperatures associated with this rain chance, we're actually going to be seeing some cooler temperatures. Again, this is associated with a weaker cold front. So we're going to be seeing these temperatures kind of come down off of the Appalachians a little bit, dipping the entire state into the 50s and 60s. Once we get to Saturday around 7 a.m., though, we're actually going to be seeing our lowest temperatures. So 44 in Lexington, 47 up in Charlottesville. But here in Tight Squeeze, we're actually going to be staying right around 51 so not as cold as our friends to the north, but still rather chilly. Now, looking at our future temperature outlook, 8 to 14 days ahead, we're actually going to be seeing some below average temperatures for portions of the viewing area. This does include tight squeeze and our friends in North Carolina. So just be prepared that these temperatures might feel a little bit colder than normal, what you feel around this time of year. Now let's actually jump into our current temperatures right now. 50 degrees here in tight squeeze, 45 up in Lexington, Roanoke, Charlottesville, 48, Farmville, 50. Down in Raleigh, though, we're actually near 60 degrees right now, 57 right around 10 p.m. That's still rather warm for this time of day. Let's look at tomorrow with our high around 73, around 2 p.m. before we taper off into the 50s for our evening. Um, looking at our weekend, we are actually going to be seeing temperatures fit, uh, 63 and partly cloudy after that rain moves out of the area. It'll be a perfect time to take your family out and enjoy some nicer weather before we see that second rain chance on Sunday where our temperatures will be around 69 degrees. Again, that chance of rain. We will be seeing that chance change over the course of a few days as it gets closer. And again, We'll be seeing winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour with this. So not overall, not expecting anything severe, just some rain showers with it. Looking at our 7-day forecast, we're going to be seeing these temperatures 78 on Thursday. Then on Friday, 75 when that second cold front will come through on Sunday. 69, dropping us into the 50s for next week, going as low as 51 and a low of 31 on Tuesday.